Today is Good Friday, the day that Jesus was crucified. The reason that we call it Good Friday is it was not the end. Even though to all those standing around, it appeared to be the end. Many just threw up their hands, cried, and were in a tremendous grief. But the message of Good Friday is that no tomb or no condition can hold us down. We are Easter people. We are people the, that go way beyond the limitations of human earth because we're connected with God. When Jesus looked out on the crowds that followed him, he was surely able to look at the depths of their beings, and he knew their discomfort. They trusted Jesus to relieve them of the discomfort of confusion, of disease, of heartache, and he did. After being with such a crowd, Jesus delivered his Sermon on the Mount, and he gave his disciples the Beatitudes, offering the promise of spiritual blessings for every condition that humankind faces now and forever. Reading these same Beatitudes that Jesus spoke they fill us with great comfort. They tell us that despite what happens to us, God is with us. And God is with us to comfort us, to heal us, and to uplift us. We have more than hope. We have complete trust in God. And we have complete trust in God working in our own lives and in the lives of others around us. We know that the kingdom, the comfort, the inheritance, and all the goodness of God is ours. God is the comfort that we want in every need, in every moment, in every condition. God is the great healer. In Matthew 5, verse 4, it says, Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. I pray on this Good Friday that you are comforted, that you realize that conditions are but temporary, and everything will uplift, rise again, and there will be a great rejoicing of new life. And that is the Easter message that can be lived daily in every circumstance.